Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we have another LEGO Dimensions video. This one happens to be the Back to the Future level pack free play. We grab a trophy achievement called Mr. Fusion Home Energy Reactor, which is uh, basically easy. You just have to find one mini kit. And we are going to grab all Wave 1 collectibles in this video. That's right, we're going to use characters you have not seen us use yet, at least uh, if you've been following along in our playlist. We are going to grab 8 of the 10 mini kits, and we're going to get a gold brick, and that's because we find the minifig in peril, which happens to be, oh, well, uh, you know what? I'm going to save it. I'm not going to spoil it for you. But we do find a character in peril, and uh, that being said, we're going to go ahead and hop on our toy pad and select the Back to the Future area, area and we're going to go ahead and dive right in. Now keep in mind this is free play so we do have quick links down below in the video description as well as we have sped this up a little bit and of course we've removed all of the cutscenes. So here we are we find ourselves in old Emmett Brown's uh, or Doc's little studio apartment here and we're going to go ahead and bust some things up. We find that we need characters that can destroy gold objects to get rid of these five uh, gold locks. So we happen to have old Cyborg who can actually melt stuff with his heat ray. So unfortunately we don't have, you know, anybody else, you know, like Superman or anybody that's uh, super stellar. I'm not sure if any other Wave 1 characters actually have the heat ray, but we know for sure that Cyborg works and we're going to go ahead and get all five of these. This one up in the upper left corner in the back there is a little bit uh, picky on how you hit it. So we're going to get right up close and personal and go ahead and heat things up. As Paris Hilton would say, that's hot. I don't know if she says that anymore, to be completely honest with you. That's kind of outdated, so my bad. Oh, but look at that, Mr. Fusion Home Energy Reactor, Booyaka Show. We're going to go ahead and jump for joy, and not only for joy, but jump for studs as well. The more you jump, the more you get. So jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. All right, that's actually going to do it for the mini kits that we find in this area. Uh, as we mentioned already, there are quick links down below in the video description that'll help you get through from collectible to collectible. Now, if you're here just to watch and see what this level's all about, or uh, maybe you uh, have not opened your pack up yet and you're plotting your attack for all these mini kits, either way, uh, we're happy to have you and push this box. I guess it's not a box, it's a toaster oven. And uh, we toasted that stuff, huh? <laughs> And we'll go ahead and push that down. Uh, obviously, you saw us ride the hoverboard across the gap there, which is pretty cool. I'm still a little confused on how this thing follows you. It's got a nice little follow. It's kind of like I have a quadcopter that actually has a follow mode. I'm not sure it works as well as this hoverboard does, and I certainly can't jump on it and ride it around, but uh, it is kind of a cool feature to have. Anyways, if you guys want to see quadcopter footage, I got lots of quadcopter footage. You guys should let me know. I... I, I have thought about it in the past, but it's not really video game related, even though it's, video, you know, thumbs. It's my, my thumbs are happy running an old control stick there. But anyway, uh, we've built up all the rest of the speaker. We're going to go ahead and get our get our riff on here in a second. We wanted to point out, though, there is another mini kit found in this area, but unfortunately it requires Cyberman or Doc Brown, as you can see there. And you can actually see the mini kit up in the top of your screen there. So we find eight mini kits. That's going to account for nine. And we're going to show you some spots later that might be where 10 is, but require later wave characters. So, all right, like I said, we've removed the old cutscenes and we've sped things up a little bit. So we're speeding right along. We find ourselves out in front of the old Hill Valley Mall, which, uh, what, what is, what's the name of this mall again? Tw Tw Twin Pines Mall, I think. I, I think that's what it is, right? Twin Pines Mall? All right, anyhow, we busted up the boxes in the back, which actually gave us some bricks to build, and we found a little green lever. We pushed all the way around, and that gave us access into the back of this truck, which then we got in there with Marty and broke some glass and built up the pieces that were revealed. However, now we're going to actually call on old Batman before advancing. The reason is you can actually, you've got plenty of time to do this still, but here in a minute, the bad guys come and they get up close and personal and start throwing explosive bananas at you and it gets a little bit more difficult. So make sure you use Batman and his grapple to go ahead and rip that shopping cart out of the bushes. And uh, yeah, I don't know if old Bam and Knoxville crashed that cart there or what. Oh, crossover from another. That's right. All right, uh, all right, we used the old whole hoverboard to get up and pow those boxes in the back. Now we need a few more pieces, but they're actually hidden or contained within these silver bars, silver bars. All right, we're going to use the old explosive bananas these bad guys are throwing at us to destroy them. Now you could switch to old the Wicked Witch and use her as well, but if you don't have the Wicked Witch, yeah, that's the easy way to do it, so... All right, we've destroyed all of the rest of the pieces needed. Now we just need to build them all up. You can see they're in the back there. It's going to give us an 88 miles per hour 
treadmill, and uh, then we're going to go ahead and get our super speed on and pew, right on out of here into the barn where our next set of collectibles are. So get up to 88 and watch the cinematic scene kick off, leave the flames behind, and pow. All right, if you uh, didn't watch our story video, it is pretty important to go ahead and use the car to smash through all the stuff on the front side along the fence and make sure you get all the way to the left-hand side because it will actually give you a couple purples and a couple blues. So definitely worth the effort. Now, in the back left, you see a bunch of illuminating pieces shining through these boxes. So make sure you destroy all those boxes. They're going to go ahead and give us some parts that we can build into a ladder, which are going to take us up to the next mini kit. So, hey, 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 we got a ladder, and we're going to need the old Batman again. This time, we're going to need his batter, batter, batter ring. All right, so switch on over to the Batman and target that batter ring terminal and watch the door open up and... Gives us some tools and as also a mini kit. So, booyah kashow. And all right. So, we got another mini kit. It's actually right across the way here. And uh, you might have noticed that we do have quick links available too. So, uh, if you're in a super big hurry, you can go ahead and use that. Otherwise, we're going to smash all the stuff on top of this checkerboard pathway here. This is going to allow us to push this box along the pathway and drop it down below. That actually gives us a bunch of pieces that we'll build up into a speed ramp. But before we drop down, we're going to call on our good friend. And uh, we, this, you could actually use Gandalf. As you know, there's the magic E stars in the back. But we wanted to point out that you could actually use the Wicked Witch as well for this. Now, we also pulled her out because there is another task down below that we're going to use her for. Unfortunately, we don't get to complete it. So uh, we'll go ahead and point it out to you, though. All right, we uh, put the pieces into place, and it's uh, not so scarecrow there. And but it did reveal uh, a crow came busting through, and it gave us a mini kit. So you might have to jump up or target it with something to go ahead and knock it down. But once it falls, you can grab it and collect it and put it in the bag, so to speak. All right, now I mentioned that down below there was another task, and sure enough, here it is. You might notice the silver blocks. We're going to destroy all of those and rebuild them up into a Namco. Psych! It's Midway. You thought I was going to mess that up, didn't you? It's a Midway Arcade panel. So at some point, we're going to get our hands on the Midway Arcade character, and we'll be able to use that. But I don't think that's like till Wave 5, so anyhow, it might be Wave 4. It's later, though. All right, once we find ourselves out in front of the old clock tower, we're actually going to switch to the Wicked Witch. We kind of kept her out for a reason, because there's this silver garbage pail over here on the left. We're going to bust it open, and it reveals a locate keystone terminal. Go ahead and follow along and get right behind the old treadmill we have to build up, and spam that button until that meter fills up, and we're going to get a... Oh, don't! We get a nice little surprise from Homer, who plows through that gate at the end there, and thank you for your services. They are no longer needed. And uh, we go ahead and say goodbye to the Wicked Witch, and we'll go ahead and make our way all the way down the street, and woohoo! I'm not dressed for the occasion, obviously, but uh, this is pretty sweet, I have to say. Uh, it touches a lot of the epic scenes from the movie in this level pack, that is. But uh, we actually make it all the way through here, and we find ourselves at the dance, which, that's pretty awesome. Dance, dance, dance. Too much booty in the pants. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, all right, we got uh, we got to switch on over to Batman, and over in the high right corner of the area, you find another battering terminal. And look at this, it opens up, and we see the band, and Marty comes out and busts out a super riff. Look at that, we actually get a nice little mini kit as a reward, and... There's actually quite a few studs scattered around. On the left-hand side of the stage over in this little sandwich board, there is a purple. And there's also a couple of blues and maybe an... Oh, yeah, there is a purple up in there in the high right corner of the stage. So make sure you get those. Now, before advancing out of here, we're going to call on old Gandalf. Gandalf, we need your magic. We're going to go ahead and use his magic to lift up this... It's a weird bat. And we're going to take out this fish pinata. And once we hit it the third time here, we're going to find Lorraine Baines. That's right. She's probably on her way to go find Mr. Calvin Klein. And, uh, all right, she takes off out of here. We actually saved the minifig in peril, which is only the second one, I think, as far as our playlist goes, all the way through, all the way back to the first 14 levels. I think that's the second one we've read. All right, now in this room, there are a couple of other moments that we wanted to point out. On the far right, you can see there was a Krusty the Clown moment. There's also a Aquaman moment. Now, both, I'm pretty sure, can be uh, handled with the mystery 
Machine Build 3. Holy cow, I almost didn't spit that out right. And I was kind of sidetracked because I knew I was getting a poiple right there. But, uh, I, you know, if you build up the Mystery Machine into the third build, I think you can go ahead and use that as well. We'll have to come back and let you know. And check this out. Speaking of Mystery Machine, Scooby. We don't want no Scooby snacks. We just need you to dig up this big old pile of you-know-what in the back here. And look at that. He digs out a mini kit for us, which happens to be number seven. So, woo to the who. And we also find ourselves uh, having a little too much fun. Did you know that Scooby-Doo can use the hoverboard too? Ooh. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, huh? Well, we're, uh, I don't know, we're probably more excited about that than you are. But anyhow, thanks for your time, Scooby. We're going to go ahead and finish up the rest of the stuff to this level. We actually need to get up top for that eighth mini kit. And we're going to do that by using Marty's guitar powers to break the glass, build up the pieces into this old switch here. Spin it around until the awning pops up, which will actually give us access to go ahead and jump on. But before we get up there, we're going to press this first plug into place. Now, I found that sometimes that plug's a little bit uh, picky, so you might have to bounce on it a little bit to get it to slide into place at first. I don't know. That time, you didn't see me do anything to it other than push it. But uh, on my trial run, looking for mini kits and such, I had a heck of a time pushing that into place. So uh, I found that doing the old butt slam on it actually helped for some reason. So, oh, to the yeah. Anyways, we got the second plug in place, and before advancing and moving up the ladder and using the hoverboard to get across the gap there, we're going to actually call in our good friend Emmett. That's right. We're not calling in the new kitty that we got a while back. This is actually Emmett, and uh, we're going to go ahead and use this j -j 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 jack hammer to go ahead and bust through and booyah ka -show. Eight mini kits now in the bag, and uh, although we do finish the level up, that's actually going to wrap it up for collectibles. Now, to be completely honest with you, I didn't figure out the whole uh, mystery machine build three can actually use be used to uh, do the water things and other other things like that. It can actually remove like purple goo and things like that too. So I didn't figure that out till after I got done playing this level. So we might have been able to find another mini kit in the dance area. I, I hate to say that right now, but uh, you guys can let me know down below in the comments if you guys go ahead and go back. I may go back here in a minute and see. And if I do, I'll go ahead and correct the video and add it to and I'll redo it. But, uh, I, you know, I'm assuming that you're going to probably find studs in there. I think the 10th mini kit is actually uh, somewhere else, but uh, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but all right, so we're up top. Well, I tried to use Emmett, but it turns out we need Marty's powers to break the glass. We're going to go ahead and destroy all the boxes that have the little illuminating pieces inside. We're going to say goodbye to Emmett, and uh, we're going to push this all the way down. Now, we did have to build up the old checker pad pathway there, and check this out. We get We get a nice shocking surprise right here. Watch this. <laughs> See, and, you know, there's kind of, it almost alludes to the fact that there might be a little area back behind there. I tried to go back there, but I was not successful. But uh, we're going to go ahead and zip line down and hop in our DeLorean. And we're going to go ahead and pew all the way out of here. But uh, that's not it for us. We still got to wrap up the total screen and talk about the collectibles. What do you think the mini kit's going to build up? You know, when we get all 10 mini kits, it builds up something pretty awesome. And in this particular case, we got a good idea of what we think it is. But check it out. Back to the Future Free Play is now complete. We got quite a few studs because there's quite a few purple scattered throughout this level. And uh, all right, we got the rule breaker in our story version of this uh, level. And this time we found Lorraine Bain. So we'll go ahead and get a check mark for the minifig in peril and check it out. Look at this. I'm pretty sure it's Biff's old roadster, is it not? I'm pretty sure that's what that was. We'll have to wait until we get the last two mini kits to find it out. But we do get a gold brick for finding Lorraine. And oh no, this final screen only means one thing. That's going to wrap up Lego Dimensions Back to the Future Level Pack Free Play. And uh, hey, let us know if you did find any other mini kits. I know we usually do an awesome job, but we're not perfect. Every once in a while we make a little mistake. But uh, anyhow, if you guys have any questions, comments, head over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. HappyThumbsGaming.com is available for your viewing pleasure as as well. You can find the trophy achievement guide for this game and many more as well as product and gaming reviews. So check it, check it out. If there's something else you'd like to see, we have a little forum community that we tried to build over there, but we didn't have much luck on that. If you guys want to be contributors and help us find, you know, people to boost trophy achievements with and things like that, or maybe answer Lego questions, whatever it may be, we'd love to hear from you. Your feedback is key to our success. Anyhow, as for me, that's going to do it for now. As always, until next time,
Hello? McFly? What are you still doing here? <laughs>